closer to the cool cell, all of these, even these are starting to get bushier yeah. and uh, really fill out. Last time we saw these hemp plants was almost a month ago. Now that Annette Wiles has settled in, she says there are some challenges she's facing that the state needs to fine tune. Like the fact that there is no testing site for THC levels in Nebraska. She has to mail it to an out of state testing location. And the paperwork said I had a guarantee it was less than 3% THC to send it. But point, it's, point three percent. Right, point. But with that said, <laughs> I don't know because I'm trying to get it tested. You know, it, once we have that baseline framework, then states are going to be able to work together with their growers to develop those different niches and those different consumer lines. Wiles says she's working with the Douglas County Attorney and Sheriff's offices to come up with a solution. There's also been a lot of confusion about CBD and hemp in Nebraska. So because hemp is a uh, cousin to marijuana, uh, there's obviously has been concern as the, the states have passed their state plans and the federal legislation was passed to differentiate between the two. And so there's going to be, be some testing requirements for hemp that you wouldn't necessarily have for corn and soybeans. USDA Undersecretary Greg Ibach says Nebraska is not alone in the uncertainty. He says because CBD oil is so popular across the country with hemp developers, future Nebraska growers may look to grow hemp for a different purpose. So I think there's less regulatory hurdles maybe down the road on the fiber side. IBOX says Nebraska's hemp strategy is logical and allows processing to develop parallel to production. The federal government will release regulations to the states in the fall. Reporting in Plattsmouth, Waverly Monroe, KETV, Newswatch 7.